welcome back to the Quarry Gardener. Do you ever visit a garden centre and buy something that you hadn't planned on or didn't need? I did that yesterday. The garden centre was reducing all of its plants and its spring bulbs and I couldn't resist. So I bought another 500 daffodil bulbs. Don't know where they're all going to go yet, but there's one area that I've picked out and I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of what that area looks like. This circular area below will eventually be a secluded seating area. I'm going to add the daffodil bulbs around the hydrangeas, the limelight hydrangeas, my favourite of all the hydrangeas. I just love them. But I thought in the spring it would be bare, bare soil and it would look quite sad. So I'm going to add some daffodils today. If I don't like it in the spring, if it doesn't look right, I'll dig them out next year and put them somewhere else. But for now, I'm going to add them and hopefully I'll enjoy the spring display and I've made the right decision to add them. So just before I plant the ice folly daffodils, I've dug up two of these limelight hydrangeas from the top garden. They weren't doing too good up there. They're quite um, leggy. So I'm going to put them down here just to finish this hedge. I'll cut them down to size so next season that they all grow at a similar rate, hopefully. But one thing I've found when I've dug this one out and I've just noticed there, put that spade down, is amongst all of the um, roots, I found some snowdrop bulbs. Look at that growing already. How good is that? So I'm going to find a good spot for those somewhere down here. But for now, I'll just put this plant in the ground. Put them safely down. I've already dug the hole in advance. I'll just tuck these roots in. Trying to keep it the same level as it was in the top garden. Just heal it in slightly. It should be pretty much entering its dormant stage now, so hopefully I won't have done it any damage by digging it up. Perennials like to be moved this time of year. I don't have any frost forecast for a good few weeks, so should be okay. Just need to cut it down now and do the same on the other side. This one is a better um, example. It's lost its leaves on the bottom, but hopefully next year it should grow well. Again, I'll just gently heal it in. This one doesn't need as much cutting back, but I'll cut it back to the same height as the others. Then next spring, they can all grow at the same rate. Right, before I start planting the daffodils, I'm just going to um, cut these down, make it easier to get in. And there's just another long, thin stem around this side. I'll cut that one off too. Just put them to one side. Just 
a shame to cut the flowers off, but I want it to be all one height to create that hedge, that seclusion that I'm after. Now the daffodils, same daffodils as I've used before, ice follies. Um, I do the same method I've used in the past where I put five bulbs in, group planting. So now I just need to start. that's the bulbs in what I should have mentioned was that I pre-dug all of the holes the quickest way was to actually put daffodil bulbs in all of them and then in one go and then go over them with the soil I find that the quickest and easiest way for my back that's 105 planted 395 to go I'll have to think of somewhere to put them anyhow I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one